was uh, a little young, young boy who was uh, innovative. So I was advised by my parents to go and do mechanical engineering because it was in line with what I liked doing when I was still young. You can do everything. The potential is within us. So long as you decide this is what I want to do. Yeah, because I didn't want to be employed. Tablespoon or a sweet spoon it is used to serve desserts. Examples of desserts we have cold desserts and we have hot desserts. Nam, wiki hii katika makala yetu ya Project 254 Tunaangazia vyo vya nuai nchini ukipenda Tibets. Hapa nchini Kenya vyo hivi vya nuai vinachangia pakubwa katika kuwapa fursa vijana wenye talanta ya kutumia mikono yao na ambao hawakuweza kujiunga na vyo vikuu. We have lots of young men and women who are very resourceful. They have a tremendous energy, they're curious, they're creative. And this this indeed is a great natural resource as a country that we have Huku Kenya ikiwa katika harakati za kuafikia malengo yake ya maendeleo kupitia nguzo nne muhimu ukipenda the big four agenda Vyo hivi vya nwai vitakumbukwa sana kuwa maeneo ya kukuza talanta ya vijana watakao changia sana katika ustawi wa agenda hizi It is clear that we need a critical pool of human resources with appropriate technical skills. In this context, my government is laying heavy emphasis on vocational training. We have set aside some 30 billion Kenya shillings for this purpose in the next three years under the Technical and Vocational Training and Education Program, the NYS, as well as our polytechnics. Kenya imo mbioni. Mbio ya kuafikia malengo yake ya maendeleo kufikia mwaka wa 2030. Akitawazwa kuongoza taifa hili katika awamu yake ya pili mwaka uliopita. Rais Kenyatta alielezea bayana ajenda yake kuu ya kuafikia mafanikio ya nguzo nne muhimu za maendeleo. Afya bora kwa wote. Usalama wa chakula nchini. Kuimarishwa kwa sekta ya viwanda na ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu kwa Kenya ndizo nguzo nne muhimu ambazo rais anazivalia njuga. Lakini katika kuafikia hayo yote, swala moja muhimu linahitaji kushughulikiwa kwa undani sana. Swala la vijana wa taifa hili. We need to see, see to it that our educational systems promote standards curriculum occupational standards assessment tools but they also need to promote standards in terms of the actual institutions that train young people as efficiently as possible for them to gain competence and capacities that promote self employment and gainful employment Kenya ni moja wapo ya nchi yenye idadi kubwa zaidi ya vijana ulimwenguni jambo ambalo linaweza kuchangia sana ukuaji wa uchumi wake mradi tu watatumika vyema and that is a reason in 2012 we assented to the tivit act which is one of the key policies as far as 
the implementation of competency-based education and training and how, how that system now has the possibility of creating the highest level of standards in human capital development. Sipet ndiyo hiyo umeona hapo. Ndiyo hiyo umeona vijana wakichenga. Ndiyo hile uniona vijana wakipika. Sasa, hata mwanafuzi kama uju wa sipopita mutiani. Ororedi yeye yako na hile skill. Hataenda huko inja aanze outside catering. Ukipika vizuri watu wakulizi kama huko na shahada. Utafiti unaonyesha kwamba idadi ya vijana wakati ya umri wa miaka 15 na 24 ikilinganishwa na idadi ya watu wa Kenya inagonga 20.8. Amini usiamini kiwango hiki kiko juu zaidi kikilinganishwa na ile ya ulimwengu wa 15.8 na 19.2 barani Afrika. Vijana hao sasa wapatao milioni 10.1 katika idadi ya watu wote nchini ya milioni 49.7 ni kiwango kikubwa kinachoendelea kukua kila mwaka. Cha kushangaza na kusikitisha ni kwamba Kenya inaongoza katika eneo hili la Afrika Mashariki na Kati kwa ukosefu wa ajira kwa vijana. Hata sio hili limetokana na ukuaji hafifu wa kazi licha ya kwamba taifa hili Linaendelea kutoa maelfu ya mahafali wanaohitimu kutoka vyo vikuu vya humo nchini kila mwaka. We are working in conjunction with the United Nations to tackle the global education and training crisis which is currently holding back millions of young people especially on the African continent and threatening our progress and stability. I am without doubt proud to be a global champion for this agenda. Katika mataifa yale ustawi kote ulimwenguni, vijana wenye ujuzi wa mikono wamechangia kwa miaka mingi ukuaji wa mataifa haya. Na naelewa jinsi industrial revolution developed in Europe the 18th century and some of the reasons zilifanya Europe ikaendelea ni vile walikuwa na vijana wenye maarifa na hatuwezi kuendelea kama taifa kama hawa vijana hawatachifunza kasi ya mkono na hawatafunzwe vizuri kutoka Nairobi hadi Kisumu Mombasa hadi Garissa Turkana hadi Homabay vyo hivi vinaendelea kuwavutia wanafunzi wengi wanaokosa kujiunga na vyo vikuu vya humo nchini As a country we have uh, many institutions we we have approximately 800 vocational institutions which would be focusing on artisan and craftsman courses Na tangu kuchukua hatamu za uongozi katika mwaka wa 2013 Serikali ya Jubilee imefanya kila iwezalo kuona kwamba vyuo vyote vya Nwai vinapata vifaa na walimu watakaowapa wanagenzi ujuzi kwa taaluma mbalimbali kama inavyohitajika. In fact, Tivet has really pulled up these students. Most of them were despaired at home, but when the Jubilee government, the big four agenda came in that uh, fronted for this a technical education for these students that has helped a lot. Sauti za mitambo ya kujitengenezea zinaashiria ustawi wa kisasa katika karakana hii ya Alex Odundo katika eneo la viwandani jijini Kisumu. Yes, and so when I finished my college, I was thinking on how to to get my own uh, employment because uh, I had a machine that I was working on which is a sasso decoticator you can see it here and uh, immediately I finished this machine I was thinking on how to make a business out of it and that's how I started Takriban vijana 12 wawili wamekita kambi hapa na shule nyingi za ufundi like for example the things that I could only be shown in school how to do but not given the chance to do them 
but then when I came out here for the attachment, um, I'm able now to do them personally. Uh, I, I get involved in doing them. So it makes me perfect on my skills. Which is saving uh, energy and... Udundo ni mwanafunzi wa zamani wa chuo cha ufundi cha kisumu anayejivonia matunda ya kudhuria vyo vya nuai. can only burn the pellets, not the briquettes. Ujuzi wa kiufundi aliopata chuo ni humo ulimwezesha kuanzisha biashara. Hata hivyo, Urundo anasema vijana wengi wa bunifu kama yeye hawawezi kutumia ujuzi wao vilivyo kwa sababu ya changamoto za kifedha na uzaji wa bidhaa zinazowakumba katika juhudi za kutimiza ndoto zao. They have these ideas with them. They can't do anything on them. So this is another challenge that we have. So are we able to get a way of Uh, uh, promoting these innovations and maybe supporting them so that they can be um, made available to the people out there. Baadhi ya vijana wanaoajiri wanasema walipata kazi hizo kwa sababu walikuwa wamepata ujuzi kutoka taasisi za kiufundi na mafunzo ya nuai jijini Kisumu. Kwa kazi nyumbani. Kazi ya ofisi sikiza kuna. Mtu wa kazi Aidha ni wanafunzi walio na ulemavu pia wanaendelea kujivonia hatua hii kwa kuwa vyo mbali mbali nchini pia inatoa fursa kwao. Mjini Homa Bay katika taasisi ya mafunzo ya kiufundi kwa viziwi na watu wasio na uwezo wa kusikia ya sikri, shughuli ya kupata ujuzi na maarifa zinaendelea vyema. Now we are unique in one way in that we admit youth from all over the country and some even beyond the boundary as far as Uganda. Tunapoingia chuoni utadhani ni hali ya kawaida tu. Amini usiamini wanafunzi hawa ni ushuhuda wa kweli wa ule msemo kwamba ule mavu si ukosefu wa uwezo. Disability is not an ability. Na naomba tu wenzangu waji waji wajipe moyo. Hakuna kitu ngumu ulimwenguni kila kitu ni rahisi tu mbele mbele ya macho ya Mungu. Chuo hiki hutoa mafunzo ya kozi mbali mbali ikiwemo useremala, ujenzi, mitindo na michoro miongoni mwa mingine. So with the TVET program of CBET, CIDAC, we are drifting from the grammar kind of exam oriented but on the practical. Kwenye darasa la useremala Tunamkuta Eliud Kudede wa umri wa na mitatu akiwa na shughuli nyingi kwenye mradi wake wa hivi punde wa kuunda kiti. Na kwa umbali utadhani kijana huyu mchangamfu anaiona anayofanya. La hana uwezo wa kuona. Kudede alizaliwa kipofu. Now when somebody is equipped with the practical skills this person is capable of enhancing self employment. And when somebody is self employed Definitely the lifestyle will change. It's from burden to less burden in the society. Kwa miaka mingi ujuzi na kozi hizi zimepuuziliwa mbali na kuonekana kuwa duni. Licha ya kwamba watu hao wenye ujuzi na uwezo huu wanashikilia kwa kiwango kikubwa sana ukuaji wa uchumi. And so we're looking increasingly to create clusters that uh, transform and give the best possible chance for young people with ideas and innovations to make it efficiently to market government's also guaranteeing markets the housing project has been guaranteed to to human capital development from tivit seeing you have many people but it's better that we work together and share our discussion and we become smart so everybody is secure Kutoka eneo la Nyanza tunaelekea kaunti ya Kericho. Hapa tunazuru taasisi ya mafunzo ya ufundi ya Konoin ambayo ilianza miaka miwili iliyopita. Msimamizi mkuu wa chuo hiki anasema siku ya kwanza alipofika kazini alitumia muda wake kuzunguka kituo cha biashara cha Koiwa akitafuta wanafunzi ya wasajili kwa sababu chuoni hamkuwa na hata mmoja. Yule wa kwanza kabisa wa ICT Finicent ambayo wakati nilikuja hapa nienda kutembea kwa hiyo 
He was the first youth nili interact the nine ikiwa hapa kama principal. Vincent Cheriot ambaye walikutana hapo sokoni ndiye alikuwa mwanafunzi wake wa kwanza baada ya juhudi nyingi za kumshawishi. Nikamuuliza sasa unataka kufanya nini? Tunataka kuweka cyber. Huko na skill yote ya ICT ati hapana. Sasa ni afadhali nikufunze hapa. Sasa ukishajua chinsi ya networking na kila kitu utachua. Kijana alikuja hapa yaka akamlipia pesa vizuri. Sheriot sasa amefuzu kutoka chuo hicho na kuanzisha biashara yake ya huduma ya mtandao wa internet hapo sokoni. Nilipomaliza niliona ni vizuri kuimarisha ile masomo ambayo nilifanya huko Kanoi Technical nikaamua kuifungua hii saipa yangu alafu niwasaidie pia huko akinisaidia. Kaona hawakuwa na saipa ile siku alianza hakukuwa na kina kitu ndio nikaamua nikafungua hii saipa yangu tukasaidiana nikawafanyia kasi yao vizuri wakanisaidia waka pia na mimi mpaka wa sasa naendelea vizuri Cha kushangaza sasa ni kwamba chini ya miaka miwili chuo hiki kimejaa Zaidi ya wanafunzi elfu moja sasa wamesajiliwa katika chuo hiki ambalo ni dhihirisho la wazi ya juhudi za vijana katika kuchangia maendeleo ya taifa Put, you put this one to this side and this side and then before you come in and they can Ah uh, jenye nilifanya ni kwa interested kwa department ya plumbing ni kwa sababu nilikuwa ninaona watu wakubwa waki waki distribute machi kwa wale watu wa wenye hawakuwa na maji so nikachukua kuwa uh, moja kati ya hawa ili hata mimi niweze kuparticipate kupatia watu ambao wenye hawajiwezi ili wapate maji Uh, jana wenzangu wenye kukule nje kenyeza waambia tu the best thing ni ku join tufanye course so that kule nje isikuwe ni mashida tu na wakumba kindly tunataka kuunga rais na deputy president mkono na kuambia kwamba tuko tayari tuko imara kuhakikisha kwamba mfumo huu umefika upeo na inchi ikitegemea kwa vyovyote vile. Juhudi ilizotia serikali kuimarisha mafunzo ya kiufundi zimevutia sio tu vijana lakini pia wakongwe. David Maraga mwenye umri wa miaka 63 ambaye alijiunga na chuo hicho mwaka mmoja uliopita Anasema amekuwa na shauku ya ubunifu na mitindo ya mavazi. Sile sana sana huwa ndio nafuatilia nikija hapa na katakata naanza kuunda kama zile tunafundishwa. Maraga ambaye ni mwanafunzi wa nyakati zote pia ana biashara yake ya kushona nguo katika soko la Koiwa. Nafanya fanya repair saa nyingine wanaleta nguo tunapima school uniforms tunawashonea mara wanaleta nini manila papers zingine ambao wanahitaji tunaunda mimi ya machanchai vikap na watengenezea alafu wanapeleka kwa shamba na kwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta vijana wana uwezo mkubwa wa kuchangia sana kuafikiwa kwa ajenda nne kuu za maendeleo kwake ufanisi wa lengo hili utategemea sana watu wenye ujuzi wa kazi za mikono kama vile seremala muoshi wana teknolojia na wahandisi wa viwango vya kadri miongoni mwa wengine and we want to support you in that. We are not here to emulate people who want to take shortcuts. We are here to tell you to take advantage of the skills that you have learned. To make money because we encourage you to make money. To make money and to employ your colleagues, your brothers and sisters across the country, but do it in the right way through hard work. Then you will have something to be proud and to stand up to. Huku vijana hao kote nchini wakijikakamua kupata ujuzi na kuafikia malengo yao ya kujitegemea maishani kupitia ujuzi wanazopata katika vyo hivi vya nuai viwanda vya humu nchini pia vinafufuliwa vyema na serikali huku vijana wakipewa nafasi za kujiunga nazo kupitia ujuzi zaidi mfano ni kampuni ya kutayarisha nguo ya Rivertex mjini Eldoret 
kilichofufuliwa na serikali ili kurejesha sifa ya awali ya utengenezaji bidhaa nchini. We want to say we appreciate the president and I think it was one of his bold decision to help especially River Tex. I remember when he came to Eldred I met the president and told him about I personally met him and explained to him what are some of the struggles for reviving River Tex and kindly agreed to assist River Tex to make it fully fully modernized. Ni hatua moja wapo ya kuipa shime ajenda kuu ya utengenezaji bidhaa kupitia sekta ya upanuzi na uzalishaji wa zao la pamba na utengenezaji wa bidhaa za kuuza katika masoko ya nje. Kenya inalenga kupata donge nono kupitia uzaji wa bidhaa za nguo katika masoko ya nje. Na huku zaidi ya wakulima wa pamba wapatao 1030 wakitazamiwa kunufaika na hatua ya kukuza pamba nchini. Vijana hao pia wataendelea kujipatia ujuzi zaidi kupitia kazi katika kampuni hizi. Uh, most of the beneficiaries of the employment are the youth, uh, those who have gone through TVET institutions because here we we employ mainly uh, technical people with technical skills. And then of course uh, some will be able to work in engineering and the same time grow as of cotton. We have the training section because our facility is for research also and training where we we have students from various colleges, polytechnics, youth polytechnics, uh, even universities and uh, they are in interns here and also there are some in attachment right. Right now we have from NYS, we have from Kiambu, we have from Kisumu Polytechnic, Kisi Polytechnic and various other colleges. Ujuzi huu wa kiufundi ndio muhimu zaidi katika kutekeleza jenda ya nguzo nne za maendeleo za ujenzi wa nyumba za gharama ya chini utengenezaji bidhaa utoaji huduma bora za afya kwa wote na kujitosheleza kwa chakula the person Kenya needs is the hands on person right now and i thank the government because they have now partnered with the china government they are bringing equipment adb bank are bringing equipments these ones we shall use them to give a good training and a good handcrafty and finish uh, finishing power <laughs>